हेलो माई डियर फैमिली मेम्बर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग कॉग्निजेंट एग्जाम यू नो द इन द अर्लियर टाइम दे यूज टू हायर फॉर द रोल ऑफ जेंसी एंड जेंसी एलिवेट बट एज ऑफ नाउ दे आर हायरिंग फॉर जेंसी नेक्स्ट एंड जेंसी प्रो यू नो यू हैव टू नो दैट जेंसी एंड जेंसी एलिवेट दीज आर द रोल फॉर प्रोग्रामर एनालिस ट्रेनिंग एंड द रोल जेंसी नेक्स्ट एंड जेंसी प्रो दीज आर द रोल फॉर जेंसी सॉरी दीज आर द रोल फॉर programmer analyst so you you are going one year ahead if you are cracking this and the package for this is more than gen c and gen c elevate like 6.75 or more than 7 lpa okay so please give importance whatever you are watching here okay so in return i want you to subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please share this content to your friends so that i will be motivated okay and in this exam you will have two cluster that is cluster 1 and cluster 2 you have to choose one of these and if you have chosen cluster 1 then you must have to face html css and javascript code in internet there are very few questions are available so i'll show you a real question which are asked earlier in cognizant exam not fully same but the same conceptual question are asked so please watch till the end this will be very much helpful to you okay so let's start the question So the question was regarding create a simple web page with the following requirements the page should have a button labeled change background when the button is clicked the background color of the page should change to a random color display the current background color in the center of the page in the format current color is to has rrggbb so this is the hex code format so maintain this okay so basically this label should be equal to the output okay requirement output and this label also should be in the same format okay so let me show you the sample input output so basically in exam you will see this type of an image in the input section like a, a page with a background white and this label and this button with label change background okay and output will be like a random color uh, color name and random color with the background and another image another background okay so this type of images will be shown in the background i mean in the output section just you have to uh, validate that okay so basically in exam you will see this type of environment like one html form file one css file and one js file will be there and in this format only okay you have to you have to link that css file you have to link that js file into your code okay like the external css file and external js file you have to import that into your html code okay so i hope you understood so let me show you the sample solution so just before i show you the solution i would request you to please have the prime materials of cognizant in which i have included all the recent questions with answers in which you will get all the coding questions mock test and all okay so if you want then please dm me at my insta id instagram.com/tech.tf this is paid but very affordable this cost only 69 so i hope you will not consider it okay so let me show you the solution so uh, at first uh, this is the format it, it it will be given to you okay and inside is uh, css inside css okay you have to write this okay inside css i am not uh, creating another file i am just writing inside the html file okay just inside just just inside this uh inside uh, style.css file start writing from here body then curly braces okay from here okay body curly braces this is so uh, let me show you the html file at first so what we are doing at first like this is uh, additional i have written this from my side okay and here is the main thing you have to do so at first you have to write a, a h1 tag inside that you have to write this current color label and this format okay f f f f 6 f because of r r g g b b format this is the hex code format okay and with the id whatever you want okay and this should be unique and then a button tag inside that you have to maintain the label name that is change background and you have to write uh, you have to create an id and this should be also unique okay so our html uh, things are okay okay so then let me go to the html sorry css okay so 
I am giving color. I am aligning the item in the center and giving the height and background color all inside this body tag. Okay, so I am giving a font like Arial and then I am justifying the content in the center and also height in 100 view width view height. Okay, then I have given this uh, as a container class. Okay, so this div I have given a container class. So I am changing what I am changing the text alignment to the center. Okay, just giving the text alignment to the center to the class dot container. Okay, and uh, these are actually additional thing like uh, I am giving this ID a font size of 24 pixel and giving a margin in, uh, at the bottom 20 pixel. So actually these are from my side. They, these are not requirements. Okay, then uh, there was a button tag, right? So I am changing some requirements like uh, I'm changing the padding. Okay, 10 pixel, 20 pixel at the X, Y axis and font size 18 pixel and cursor. I'm making the cursor as pointer. Okay, then border none so that the border will be removed and background color will be uh, this. Okay, this has code like uh, sky blue and then color is white. This is the color of the font. Okay, then border radius 5 pixel. Okay, the radius of the corner will be uh, reduced. Okay, then a transition whenever I am I, I'll click on that the transition of color changing will be for 0 0.3 second. Okay, and whenever I'll hover on the button, the color will be changed to this deep blue. Okay, so uh, let me show you at first how it will be. So like at the first, the background color is white. Why? Because we have written that by default, the background color will be what? The background color will be for what? For body, the background color will be white. Okay. And height will be this 100 view, view height. That means 100%. Okay. And all the items at the center. Okay. At the first. Okay. By default. And all are at the what? At, at the center. And the container is also center and for yeah for button the color of the font is white and the border radius that means the corner is uh, like a round shape and the background color of the button is this uh, blue okay as you can see as we have written there okay so now our task is whenever we will click on this then the background color will be changed as well as this color code will be changed okay like this way okay so for that what we have to do we have to implement javascript code okay and also you can see here like when i am hovering on this the color is changing okay color is changing to deep blue okay and the font color is white and the color of the button is like sky blue or like that okay so i hope this is clear and now I have to implement the JavaScript code. So at first I am writing a function get random color so that we can get the random color. Okay. And uh, color letters is equal to this. So these are the, the letters which uh, we have to include inside the uh, hex code. So that's these are the all thing we had to include. Okay. Apart from this, nothing uh, actually acceptable. Okay. So at first we are initializing the color as hash so that we can concatenate anything from these okay in the form of rrggbb okay so at first we are writing a for loop for, from 0 to the 6th because uh, the format for hex code is only containing 6 uh, letters that is rrggbb so we are uh, going up to 6 letter okay then we are getting the random color using math.random and we are getting the floor value using math.floor then let's say we got uh, let's say uh, 10 let's say 10 or let's say 11 okay we got a random number that is 11 okay so i have to fetch letters of 11 that means we have to fetch the 11th uh, character of that letters string okay so 11th character is a so color will be concatenated with that a okay so has was there inside color 
then a will be concatenated so this way it will uh, it will go up to 6 then total 6 characters will be there those will be the has hex code for that okay and after that we are returning that color after all the iteration okay then we are having another function that is change background color inside that we have created another variable constant uh, new color and we are getting we are calling the function which is returning the random color okay random color we are storing that here okay then we are storing the background color document dot body dot style dot background color we are changing the background color is equal to new color okay so new color this color will be assigned to the background color okay and as we have to update the value of this as well so we have to update this way uh, so the value was like uh, cur current color is to has fff okay and the id or of corresponding uh, h1 that color display so we have to fetch that get element by id that uh, color display and dot text content so we are updating that value color uh, current color is to uh, dollar curly braces and this new color whatever we got using random color okay so we'll assign that here okay so the color is changed sorry the um the, the, the label is changed then we are getting the uh change color button id so we have to call that to change the color so document dot element by id we are we, we have to call that uh button id so that whenever we'll click on that the color will be changed so we have to add an event listener so add event listener the event is click okay so whenever we'll click on that then do this thing okay do this thing that is change background color so that means change background color is the function so that this perform this will perform okay so that means the background color will be changed and in the same time the label will be also changed okay so i hope you understood so let me just take to you okay so let me just uh, uh, reload this okay so if i click on this then background color will be changed and also whenever i am clicking on it the value of this is also automatically changing okay so these are all you have to do okay so i hope you understood so if you understood then please subscribe this channel and also like this and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help okay so and at the end also if you want the prime materials of any company then please let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at my study instagram.com slash this is paid but very affordable okay so thank you for today's session